Hey everyone, I wanted to put together a quick video how I build my still head spinners. Now if you watched my still head patterns video, part three was on spinners. In that video, I explained my two favorite winter still head spinners, and those are number four R&B black body with either a polished brass or a white matte silver blade. So I encourage you to watch that video. I'll put the link above, but let's get started. To start out with, I'll go over the parts that you're gonna need. So we'll start out with the blades. So again, this is a number four polished brass, and this is a number four white matte silver. I've got a couple of torpedo bodies. These are number fours, black. You're gonna need spinner wire, and this is .031 in diameter and it's open-ended. That way you can put a treble hook on or you can just build it with this up inside the body and you can add a single hook. You're gonna need a clevis. It's the little item that holds the blade to the spinner body. And you're gonna need some small bearings. They just, they're like a little bead, but they're made out of metal. So I got size large and a couple of size small, because I'll use a large and a small with each spinner. I have some size 10 Roscoe barrel swivels, because I like to tie my barrel swivels right into the head of my spinner. I don't like using snap swivels. And I've got some one knot single hooks that I'll be adding at the end. All right, the tools that you need, you're gonna need at least a pair of needle nose pliers with a wire cutter. If you really wanna get fancy, these are round nose pliers. They're like five bucks at Biomart. What I like about it is when I'm building the eye of the spinner, it makes the tip of that spinner nice and round. And if it'd come in handy to have a really heavy duty pair of wire cutters, but again, if you have some needle nose that has that built in, that's good enough as well. So to start out with, take your wire, take your body, go ahead and thread the body on. And at this point, if you're gonna use a treble hook, you wanna put the treble hook on now because once you close this, you can't reopen it once you build the top of the spinner. But I'm gonna use single hooks that have an open eye, so I clip those on at the end. So. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that on. You just pinch that together and shove that into the body of the spinner. Next, take a large bearing and put that on the wire right up against the body. Then take a small bearing and put that on the wire next. So there you got the wire, the body, and the two beads. So we'll take our clevis, and we'll go ahead and put the blade on. So I'm gonna use my polished brass blade here. And so just take that, and that clevis has holes top and bottom. You just wanna thread the wire through top and bottom, just like so. Now if you want, if you're just using needle nose, you can use those. But again, I'm gonna use the round nose because I like the curve that it makes. Now I don't know if this makes any difference whatsoever, but the loop at the bottom, I like to make my loop on top in the same direction. So what I do is I take the round nose pliers and I'm gonna clip those on about a quarter inch above the top of that clevis. So let's call it about right there. Now I'm gonna take the wire with my off hand and I'm just gonna tightly bend that wire with my hand around the back of that wire, just like so. 
So that's what you end up with. It kind of looks like that. Okay. So at this point, this is where I put my barrel swivel in because again, I build that into the eye. So go ahead and clip that on. Now you'll want your needle nose pliers. Go ahead and take your needle nose pliers and grab on to the main wire at the eye of that spinner. Just like so. With your off hand, just go ahead and grab that wire and tightly wrap it two times around the body, or the main wire, I should say. Just like so. And your eye will end up looking like that. I know some of the videos suggest bending that out, but I build all of them just like that. It spins just fine in the water. At this point, take your wire cutters and clip off that tag end. So the main portion of the body is done. Now I'm going to take my single hook and thread that into that bottom eye, take my needle nose pliers, and close the eye of that hook. And there you have it, there's a number four polished brass black body. So we'll go ahead and do one more, do one of the white matte silver spinners. Again, put the body on the wire, insert the bottom of that into the bottom of the body, take the large bearing, thread that on first, now the small bearing, if I can get my hands on it. Should be wearing my reading glasses for this. Clevis. Go ahead and thread that through. Like so. So I'm gonna take to make my the eye of my spinner about a quarter inch up. I'm gonna pinch and I'm gonna bend that around just like so. So at this point, I'm gonna add my barrel swivel. It clicks in there. Needle nose on the main wire in the eye. Just hang on to that. And two wraps, complete wraps, as tight as you can to that wire, to the main wire. Clip off that tag in. Got a little bit long there, so I'm gonna clip off the bit that's left. So there's the main portion of the spinner. Now I've got my single. Thread that on. Take my needle nose. And just close the eye of that hook. So there you have it. Two of my number four spinners. Now I got some of these heavy little Ziploc bags off of Amazon. I just drop these spinners right in there. And that way I can throw them right in my chest pack. Just like so. So there you have it, two of my winter steelhead spinners ready to throw in my chest pack for tomorrow. If the tip was helpful, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any other tip videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if I earned it, hit the like button. So I'll see you on the next one.